Today, we're going to talk about the mystery of Christmas, the fact that God came in the flesh and lived among us. This is a picture with Mother Mary. Do you see what's happening with her? This is sometimes called the Annunciation. Here, the angel Gabriel is announcing to Mary that God has chosen her to be the mother of God. Do you see Mary on the right? Do you see the angel on the left? They have the same colors, but the angel has wings. Mary was scared, but happy. She was stunned, but blessed. Mary was a lucky girl because she had an older friend to talk to. It was Elizabeth. Elizabeth's husband, Zechariah, was a priest. And when it was his time to work in the temple, he went inside to burn some incense and pray. When Zechariah was at the altar, he glanced over to his right and there was a bright light. There, the angel Gabriel said to him, don't be afraid. I bring you good news. You and Elizabeth will have a baby. We're too old, Zechariah said. And that was the last thing he said. The angel took away his words until that baby was born. The angel told Zechariah that the baby's name was supposed to be John. And then he disappeared. Mary went to see Elizabeth. And when Mary came close to Elizabeth and greeted her, something wonderful happened. Elizabeth felt the baby inside her move when he heard Mary's voice. Elizabeth said something like, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is your baby you're going to have. When you spoke, the baby within me jumped. Something wonderful is going to happen with your baby and with mine too. When Elizabeth said that, Mary began to sing a song people call the Magnificat because it begins, My soul magnifies the Lord. Then Mary's baby was born. That's why it's called the Nativity. Nativity means the birth. Do you see how Mary is lying down? She's awake and happy, but Joseph is asleep. The baby is wrapped in strips of cloth. These strips are the swaddling cloths or clothes you hear about in the story. Look at those angels. They're so happy. They're flying all over and singing Gloria in Excelsis. After a time, Mary and Joseph took their new little baby to the temple in Jerusalem. It was the custom to present a new baby there to celebrate its name and to dedicate the baby to God. When Mary and Joseph took the baby into the temple to be dedicated to God, an old man named Simeon came up and looked at the baby. Simeon is holding the baby. Mary is still holding out her arms. Joseph is bringing two birds to the temple. That was the custom in those days. Simeon took the baby into his arms and he said, now I can die in peace. But what was he talking about? Well, when Simeon was younger, God told him that he would not die before seeing the Holy One who is coming and who would change everything. This day, Simeon knew Jesus was the one he had been waiting for. Then Anna came up and looked at the baby. She saw that this was the Holy One too. She gave thanks to God and told everyone in the temple what had happened. The three kings, or the Magi, the wise men, finally arrived. They were late. Every year they're late. Here they are shown adoring the baby. That means they are just standing there and looking at the baby and enjoying him. They also brought presents. 
And look at that star. This is the wild star they've been following. An angel came to Joseph in a dream before some soldiers arrived. An angel told Joseph to take his little family to another country to keep them safe. They fled far away to the land of Egypt. Mary and the baby rode on the donkey and Joseph led the way. Now I wonder, which part of this story do you like best? Which picture do you like best? I wonder what we can learn about God from this story. <laughs>